Welcome to Hymn Stories, a podcast about how our songs of the faith came to be and how they've encouraged, comforted, and strengthened believers like you and me. Hymn Stories is a part of the Media Gratia Podcast Network. My name is Ryan Bush. Paul Gerhardt was deposed from office in Berlin and banished in 1666 by Elector Frederick William because he refused to subscribe to certain edicts, which he considered to be attempts to unite the Lutheran and Reformed parties. Not sure what to do, Paul and his wife left the city of Berlin. They stopped for the night at a tavern in the countryside. Both were pressed with care and grief. Gerhardt, wanting to comfort his wife, read to her the text from the 37th Psalm, Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. The scripture made a great impression on both of their hearts, and Paul went and sat down on a garden seat to think and pray. There he wrote the hymn, Commit Thou All That Grieves Thee, and came and read it to his wife, who found solace in her husband's composition. And so this hymn has come to bring comfort to many grieving pilgrims. Let me tell you about one of them. Dobry lived in Warsaw, Poland, in the early 1700s with his wife and little ones. He was a pious man, and he was a peasant. Without any fault of his own, Dobry fell behind on the rent for their small dwelling. The landlord, being unmoved by Dobry's situation, was determined to turn the family out. It was winter and evening, and the next day, Dobry was to be evicted with his family. He sat with his little flock in sorrow, unsure about what to do except to worship. He knelt down in their midst, and he led them to sing Gerhardt's hymn, Commit Thou All That Grieves Thee. Commit thou all that grieves thee into the faithful hands of him who never leaves thee, who heaven and earth commands. Suddenly, there was a noise at the window. All eyes turned toward the sound, and they were shocked to see a black bird at the windowsill, pecking at the pane. Dobry knew exactly what it was, for this was an old friend. Several years before, Dobry's grandfather had taken a raven out of the nest. The old man had tamed it, and then he set it at liberty. Now it had returned. Dobry opened the window, and the raven hopped inside the house. In his bill, there was a ring set with precious stones. He thought at first that he would sell the ring to try to catch up on rent and spare his family homelessness. But, upon further reflection, Dobry decided that the best course of action would be to take the ring and show it to his pastor. The pastor immediately recognized by the crest that it belonged to King Stanislaus, who was ruling during that time. The pastor took the ring to the king and told him the story. The king wasted no time in sending for Dobry and rewarded him so that he was no longer in need. He provided him with a home and several head of cattle from his own herd. Over the house of the door, Dobry placed an iron tablet upon which was carved a raven with a ring in his beak and a stanza from Gerhardt's hymn. The Lord is good, and He is able. For this reason, those who know Him and fear Him, those who trust Him and tremble before Him, fret not. They're anxious for nothing. Dear Christian, fret not thyself because of evildoers. Neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. For they shall soon be cut down like the grass, and wither as the green herb. Trust in the Lord and do good. So shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Commit thy way unto the Lord, trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. 
and he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light and thy judgment as the noonday. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. For evildoers shall be cut off, but those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. For he, the cloud's director, whom winds and seas obey, will be thy king protector and will prepare the way. Thou canst make no advances by self-consuming care, but he his help dispenses when called upon by prayer. Beyond thy wish extended, its goodness will appear when he hath fully ended what caused thy needless fear. Thank you for joining me in this episode of Hymn Stories. May the Lord bless you and keep you as you sing and make melody in your heart to Him.